Hello, I'm Gamir with another Terhar Pro video. Long time no see once again, but that's because when well, I was distracted with other stuff. So now I decided, I was like, okay, I bought too many things. Uh, too many things has happened since that last video with me with the laptop, with the Dell laptop and the iPhone 11 Pro. So now here is basically what I did. You see here I'm unboxing a micro SD card because that's exactly why I thought, yeah, I should probably record this. So it's 256 gigs and it is for not for a phone. It's not for a phone that I have almost dropped it. You can see here, but it is for a tablet. Now the tablet is the one that you see in the background. And as you can see there, there it has a case already because the case I bought it back in 2019, back when I had the Tab S5e. So I bought an S5e because I wanted to put it with this case. <laughs> and the case works wonderfully. Like when I close it, it locks the screen. That's, that's really cool. I don't know how they do it. Probably some magnets because that's all I'm thinking, magnets. And talking about madness, when you can fold the this uh, cover to be used as a as a stand, very cool. I like this case. I like it. I like it. But uh, and it still keeps the tablet slim. Like the tablet is still slim, even though they put this case on it. You can see here. I open it and it turns the screen on. Now the fingerprint scanner. I'm thinking it has some issues with the tablet itself. So I'm not going to even bother trying to set it up again or anything. Probably will just use the pin anyways. And I will put this micro SD card because the tablet will be used only to store all of the videos I made. That's why I bought such a large micro SD. Well, not exactly all the videos, but the videos that I really wanted to save that I made. Even videos from this channel I have saved in there. So I have the the tablet it works excellent with the micro sd and the tablet itself you know it's basically the same things i said back on that review that i made the first video of the tablet but difference being i did not pay almost 500 dollars for it uh, instead of 460 this one which is a used one it cost me 160 but this tablet is pretty cool of course it does not take the best photos that's not the point a tablet is supposed to be a media device or a, a laptop essentially some some tablets actually do kind of replace laptop this one as you already know it has dex but i'm not going to use dex <laughs> It's only a tablet for multimedia, which I picked it instead of a newer tablet because four years later, and there's still not affordable tablets that have an OLED screen. I have to buy an old tablet like this one, which is a good balance of like performance and features. The speakers, I mean, the speakers still sound as good as they sounded back in 2019. It's the exact same sounding speakers and uh, here is something very specific to this unit that i bought though it may happen to other tab s5e's as well the screens oh sorry the screen is a little bit separated from the frame like the glue is not very strong in the size in all the size but eh, that's okay I mean, I, I have the case on it, so I just put the case on top of it and oh, I put it on the backpack where it gets pushed against the my back. Should be okay. It shouldn't be causing a problem. Now, uh, the tablet, I do take it almost anywhere. I do take the backpack with me. It will, be, it will be like, instead of taking the laptop with me, I just take the tablet and I watch a bunch of my old videos because <laughs> even if you don't believe it, I do watch my own videos from time to time. I made them and I had fun making those videos, so why not watch them? Now, the front is a little bit scratched on that part at the bottom, but that's probably because of the um, keyboard attachment that they put on it, since I can tell the pogo spins were uh, worn, they are a bit scratched, so... Now that the micro SD worked, that's where I transfer all the videos. 
and I tested it a little bit. Now, um, I got an S20 Ultra, 20, like 2020. The phone is actually really good. Um, now, I wish I could have bought the S21 Ultra. Like, that's slightly better than this. But this one is not so bad. It's not so bad. Though the design of it looks ugly. That was when Samsung only cared about big numbers. Big battery, big camera sensors, big zoom, big screen, big everything. This phone is just big everything. Anyways, here's a little bit of the video that I did. The same video I tested the speakers with back in 2019. Same video. Now here's in this part where I tried to open a 4K 60 video, now that I, we're talking about this subject, uh, it cannot play it. This is the video of the unboxing of the tablet that I recorded back in 2019, and it does not play it on the same tablet. But that makes sense, you know, it's a mid-range tablet. I mean, what do you expect? It has a mid-range shape. I mean, at least it can do just normal 4K at 30, which is fine. I only make... The only videos I do at 4K 60 are these videos. Literally this uh, Tech Hard Pro video. All the other videos I make, they are at 30 frames, 1080p most of the time, or some other are like 1080p 60, so that should be okay. Now, when I put it on YouTube, it, it just plays on slow motion, which... Eh, hey, it's better than not playing the video, but it's still kind of bad. <laughs> I recommend the tablet. It has an OLED screen. Come on now. And even if it runs the older version of Android, I was still able to install TikTok and Instagram, YouTube, Vanced. Come on now. Or Revanced, I mean. So, uh, that's about it for today. And hope y'all... Hope y'all make another video by the end of the year or so. Maybe I'll get a... S21 Ultra, finally, who knows? We'll see though, we'll see. Maybe I do end up buying more cosplays. <laughs> Has an OLED screen, four speakers, which I'm going to show to you right now. Let me open this sleeve here.